Alright, Corey, how do I look? You look amazing. You look great, Sarah. Are you excited? I mean, yeah. It's Miranda Cosgrove. What do I even ask her? What do I talk to her about? I mean, you can talk about like iCarly. Well, yeah. I'm obviously gonna talk to her about iCarly, but like, what is she doing? That's why you're talking to her. Sarah, she's in like Despicable Me. Oh my god, you're right. She does do Despicable Me. All right, Miranda's walking in. Can we get it quiet on the set, please? Hi. Quiet on the set. Hi. Hi. All right, guys, get in your places. Hi. We're going to be starting You now. look absolutely amazing, Miranda. Hi, thank you. Wow. It is such a pleasure to have you on the show. You are literally... Let me guess. I was your childhood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you really were. You were my entire childhood. I, Carly, was my life. If I hear that one more time, I might go insane, but... You know, it's okay. Oh, I'm so sorry if that, like, triggers anything. No, 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 it's okay. <laughs> I just get that every day, so, I mean... Oh, no, I bet. Like, you were literally everyone's childhood. I can't imagine how that would feel on a person. <laughs> if people only knew how depressed I was, I feel like they wouldn't say that so much, so... Oh, my God, Miranda. I had no idea. I'm really sorry if you <laughs> no, say it's, that. No, it's really okay. So, Miranda, you're going to college right now. What? That's, that must be insane. Um, yeah, I go to USC right now. Um, I bet you get stopped so many times, do you not? Yeah. Um, I feel like everyone in college right now grew up with you watching iCarly. So if people just knew who I actually was at home, they wouldn't really care about me. You know, I'm pretty boring. What? <laughs> Don't say that. I just do homework all day. And I mean, you're in college, but you have so much homework, so, I mean, yeah, that's valid. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That's not boring, Miranda. <laughs> yes, you get it. Okay, Miranda, since I'm a YouTuber, I literally feel like I'm iCarly sometimes. I know I bring up iCarly and you hate it, but like, YouTubers just kind of feel that nostalgia that I kind of like, oh my god, this is like my second life, you know? Like normal girl, day to day, but then she has to get in front of a camera and like, she has an audience, you know? Yeah! I feel like I Carly all the time. Um, I think actually Josh is oh my a YouTuber god, yeah, now, Josh. which is so insane. Josh is on YouTube right now. He hangs out with like... David Dobrik. <laughs> I don't know what YouTubers do every day, so that's crazy that he's doing that too. Yeah, like I know them. I went to David's parties and I was hoping I would see Josh there, but right. I didn't see Josh. Um, giggle about Oprah. I love Oprah. I was actually binge watching her YouTube channel earlier today. <laughs> so I really feel this connection with Josh and I just want to Right? It's yeah. just, he was on the number one Nickelodeon show, now he's a YouTuber, which is really cool. <laughs> YouTube's kind of like the new Nickelodeon, I guess. I, I know, yeah. It's like the modern day Nickelodeon, you know. All the kiddos are watching YouTube more than Nickelodeon, I think. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, my dad actually went to UCLA, so we kind of like hate you guys. <laughs> Rivals. <laughs> um, cool. You UCLA is cool. Um, what what are you majoring in? <laughs> psychology. Oh my god, you're majoring in psychology. Yeah. <laughs> How is that? I bet that's super interesting. I love psychology. I I just love the brain. I'm fascinated by it. Yeah, the brain. Um, human behavior is <laughs> just. My thing. Yeah, yeah. I love learning about how the brain works. Um, cool. That's crazy that we have that in common. That's yeah. Really cool. Do you get stopped like a lot, like every day? Oh, all the time, all the time. How often? You know, it used to be people coming up to me saying like, "Oh my God, you were my entire childhood." Right. Right. right <laughs> you know, right. I I'd get that here and there, but now. I don't know. It turned into a lot of haters, I think. Um, what? Yell at me in my face. Tell me I'm a Nickelodeon flop. Oh my god. Um, just, just silly stuff like that. You know, a lot of people scream Michael Jackson at me from afar. That is terrible. And um, it hurts. I am so sorry. That's horrible. Yeah. On red carpets and stuff, uh, photographers would scream, Hey, Michael Jackson! Look this way! 
uh, strike a pose, Michael. They scream Michael Jackson at you. That hurts because I'm not Michael You're Jackson. You're not. I'm Miranda. You're Miranda. There was this one time on campus, a group of boys threw spaghetti tacos in my face and called me a flop. And I cannot you know, imagine. Yeah, I had some prego sauce in my hair, but honestly, it was my last class and there was only like 10 people in there, so it wasn't what? It wasn't that bad. I managed to get a lot of it out in the bathroom, but it, it's just it's just hard, you know. They threw spaghetti tacos in your face at school. I don't know, I just feel like every childhood actor kind of goes through the same thing if they want to pursue education. <sighs> Besides the haters and having to walk past giant Michael Jackson thriller flash mobs um, just to get to psychology class every day. Flash mobs? Yeah. It's a different group every day. They just do um, a Michael Jackson flash mob. Every um, day? In front of one of my classes, yeah. But actually, a really funny story. I went home one day because I was just so annoyed, I'm like, does this have to happen every single day? You know, I'm just like trying to get to class. <laughs> I went home on YouTube and I um, actually learned the dance. So the next day when a new group of students did it, I just joined in on them. You and then joined right as I joined in, they all just like looked at me and just stopped and walked away. I kept going, you know, I, I continued and oh my God, uh, the yes. guy even with the boom box left and <laughs> I just continued dancing. <laughs> the guy with the boom box left. So yeah, you still kept going. <laughs> I'm crazy. You're a crazy son of a bitch. You know, I, I'm dealing with it. I have one more year left. One more year, um, you just gotta push through yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. I'm just a normal girl. I like going home watching anime in my PJs. God, I love pajamas. <laughs> I mean, yeah, pajamas are great. A nice warm set of jammies. Just drinking hot cocoa by the fire. And After a long day, I, I relate. I, I relate. like being in my silk pajama set. You know, I just love me some good jammies. You're a silky girl, you know? <laughs> <laughs> So, I'm just an ordinary girl. Like Hannah Montana says. She says it best. That's one of my favorite songs. Um, I really relate to it, especially when I'm walking around campus. I have to earbud that song. The whole time, just that song? Mostly, the whole time I'm walking to class. It's that song. I mean, if that's what it takes to get you through the day. Yes. Then, yes. <laughs> exactly. That is... That is a great, empowering song. <laughs> exactly. Amazing. Again, my childhood. Beautiful. Probably my favorite song of all time. Wow, of all time. That's a very broad statement. <laughs> Something I can truly relate to. A Hannah Montana song is your favorite song of all time. Yeah. Well, at least um, they can hate all they want. You still got so much money in the bank, you know, from like iCarly. Right, and, exactly. Um, Despicable Me, you're doing that too. Yeah, Despicable Me. What an opportunity to be a part of that beautiful masterpiece of a movie. Although I'm 24 and people judge me for it, it's like, I'm making millions. <laughs> you're in class. I feel like it's not just a movie, it's a way of life. Yeah. It's a revolution. Yeah. It's um, everywhere. I just love the crazy little minions. I think they're just so cute. <laughs> minions. So many kiddos walking around town, like wearing those little minion shirts. The fact that I'm a part of it is just so incredible. And I wouldn't want- All right, Miranda, it's time to get juicy. What do it's, you mean? It's time. <laughs> you know what I mean. What? I need some Freddy tea. <gasps> yep. No. Yep. You totally hooked up with Freddy behind the scenes. You're insane. You totally did. <laughs> Um, he was cute on set. I did have a little crush on him. Come on, girl. <laughs> Miranda. Honey, you're turning into a little red tomato right oh now. Oh my god, I'm blushing. Look at my cheeks. cheeks. They're so hot. Just like you were for Freddy. <sighs> oh my god, quit. There was this one time. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay, spilling the tea. There was this <laughs> one time. That's like music to my ears. This is insane. I'm so bad. I'm so yes. bad. Yes. I should not be talking about this. Give it to me hot. I guarantee I'm gonna wake up tomorrow. I'm gonna be the cover of People's Magazine after this. This is insane. 
it was when me and Freddie kissed for the first time and I felt the tension the whole episode. Me and Nathan behind the scenes have always been really good friends, buddies, buds. Loved him. Always made me laugh. That's hot. That's something that I really loved about him. He just knows how to make any girl chuckle. And Freddie. When I kissed him in that episode. Oh, like, oh I know guys. I know. Um <laughs> <laughs> I really did feel sparks fly Just like electricity I might die If I could learn how to breathe I might do this more without this There's nowhere in this world I'd rather be Time's up Yeah, so um You wrote that song about Freddie Yeah Oh my god! That was where that song came from. Holy shit! Me and Nathan were alone in um, in a room. Oh my god, stop. I'm tingling just even talking about this. That's so hot. He placed his hand on my thigh. Amazing. That's when I knew it was real. Oh my god, yes. Yeah, so we banged. Oh my god! You and Freddie banged. You and Freddie banged. We banged. Um, but only one time though, okay? I'm not that crazy. Stop! Um, stop! <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm not Jeanette. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh my god. Oh Whoops. My god. She's oh gonna kill me. Oh my I gosh, knew it. you no. need to cut that no. out. No, that, no. Oh my god, I'm so bad. <gasps> no, not cutting that out. You know, after we looked at each other in the eyes, and we were like, we can't do this. <laughs> you know, we're co workers. This isn't gonna work. Understood. Um, you guys were on a Nickelodeon show, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I get it. That makes sense. That makes and sense. And I think about it every day. Do you? Every day. Every day. Uh-huh. <sighs> Not a day goes by. Wow. I know he's happy now. His wife is actually pregnant. Do you still love him, though? You know, I've never really thought about that. <laughs> I think that a, a part of me will always love him. You guys have a history. Yeah. He was my camera guy and um, he was the one that kind of took control of the whole show, which I thought is really steamy. Oh god, <laughs> so steamy. That's um, really But yeah. <laughs> Miranda, it's been a pleasure having you on this show. Okay. Thank you. No, for thank coming. you. I Carly will always have a little part of my life. <laughs> so thank you for blessing me with that show. It's been a pleasure. It's been such a pleasure. I'm a blessing. I cross the street, I lie in wait until sun down.